Hi there, I'm health coach Heather and our little Mitchell family market is up and running. This week we are selling fermented veggies. So if you'd like to purchase some fermented veggies, I want to tell you a little bit about what they are. Fermented veggies are really, really good for feeding the good bacteria in your gut. Fermented veggies are not sauerkraut from the store. Sauerkraut from the store is loaded with vinegar and it's been heated so that all the good bacteria has been killed off. The way I do it, it tastes just like sauerkraut, but it's fermented, meaning it, it retains all of the good bacteria in it to help your digestive tract, and it has 10 times more vitamin C in it than regular cabbage, so very good for boosting the immune system, very good for people who actually have a lot of allergies to food because we want to feed the good bacteria in the gut to help eliminate some of those allergies and problems that people have in the GI tract. So if you have irritable bowel, irritable bowel syndrome or anything going on in your stomach, fermented veggies are awesome. And they just taste amazing. I find that when my kids dive into the fermented veggies, their body's kind of craving them. Like it intuitively knows that it needs to be eating them. So this is why my son and I, he's He's mostly doing it and I'm helping alongside his little business here. We wanted to share with you how we do our fermented veggies. And so how I like to do them is I go to the store and I often try to purchase the organic cabbage. And then once I get the cabbage, either the, the red cabbage or the green cabbage, some weeks it'll be red, some weeks it'll be green. Um, what I do is I shred that up really fine and it takes um, about one head of cabbage to fill one quart jar. It's hard to believe that, but the process of doing that is I shred it really fine and I put it into a bowl and toss it with some sea salt and I let it sit on my countertop for about two hours. At that point, I stuff a nut bag full of that, that sauerkraut and I drain it with my hand to squeeze out all of the liquid so that I can really pack those jars in tight. So you're getting an entire head of cabbage in that one quart size jar. So this should last you a long time. In addition to that, I mix it up with some garlic and some dill, either fresh dill or I use my essential oil dill that's edible. I put it in with the sea salt water and then I cover it to the top. And sea salt's really important for preventing the bad bacteria from growing because sometimes we do have a batch that grows mold on the top or if you leave it in your fridge for a long time, which it lasts forever, it doesn't expire, but if you leave it in your fridge for a long time, it'll grow sometimes a bacteria level on the top and you'll know, you'll see it. And you might be tempted to throw the whole jar out at that point, but I wanna tell you that your sauerkraut is still really, really good underneath that mold. So just scoop off the top and continue to eat it like you normally do. We don't need to have a lot of fermented veggies. We only need like a tablespoon a day. We just use it as a condiment. That's really all the gut needs because having too much fermented veggies and kombucha and kefir and, and fermented products like that, it can cause constipation for some people. So I wanna make sure that you know you just need a little bit every day. So there's a process to making fermented veggies. It does take a little bit of time. It's gotta sit out on the countertop for about four days in the summertime before it's ready to eat to my liking. In the wintertime, I might keep it out a couple weeks, but you can even keep it out as long as you want. I think once it hits a sour point, it doesn't go much sour than, than that. So we've been making fermented veggies for years in my house and I, I can't wait to just share them all with you. So I can take about 10 orders a week, that's it. So please, if you're interested in fermented veggies, when I send out the email or you email, email me at the first of the week, tell me what you want. If you want the fermented veggies or if I'm doing bone broth, sometimes I'll forget to send out an email, but I hope I always remember to send one out letting you know what we're making that week. And this won't happen every week, you guys, because I'm busy. So if you want something, please reach out to me and I will schedule a week to make that thing for you so that you can continue on your health and wellness journey and feel your very best and boost your immune system. That's the most important thing right now. So thanks for watching this video. Please get your orders in for the sauerkraut, the fermented veggies. That's what they are called, fermented veggies. They're actually sauerkraut and we'll get it to you. Thank you, bye-bye.